What is up, everybody? <clears throat> it is June 12th, 2020, at 9.50 p.m. We have a couple rad spots to get off on here, and then we are going to fill those up. I believe we have two spots left on the site. Start moving that list over. All right, guys, so we are razzing off spots. There's a couple left. Write it up. I'll put that there for now. We're doing a raz to get into our break tonight. What up, Carter? I hit a Frank Thomas relic. Oh, and that when I had the White Sox. I know I I saw it on the recap. I wasn't watching it when it was pulled. I was wrestling the kids when it was pulled, but I'll take it. I was really hoping to get a uh, another med auto. So this is the Raz to get in if you want to take a shot to get in tonight. I'm going to post up that I'm live now. And we will uh, get it on. All right. <laughs> All right, just read those tweets. Okay, now I'm going to put up my tweet and I'm live. Let's see if anything else went off. Um, okay. Sweet. That's done. Yeah, I missed things going off. All right. I'm going to get up all the names for the Razzes now. And we're going to get it on. As number three. All right, guys, I'm sorry. So there was five. We we did five spots on the rest tonight. So five spots. All right, guys. 
So here's what we got. Our Raz spots for tonight for Raz number three is loaded in right here. You can see here, Chad S. Chad S two times. We had Weston. We had Gary. And we had JW. All right, coming to us from Twitter. So Chad twice, Weston once, Gary once, and JW. Again, the winner of the Raz receives a spot into the break tonight. So this is our uh, $9 way to try and get that $45 spot. So good luck on that. So that's Raz number three. Raz number four is loaded in as well. We have Chris L two times on top. We have Joe F with one. We have Chad again with one. And we have Dylan on the bottom taking the fifth spot on Raz. That's Raz number four. For Raz number five, we still have some open spots. We have Crikey's on with two, and we have three Raz spots left at $9 a spot. I believe there is a spot or two left at $45 on the website, www.allstarbreaks.com. So if you'd rather just go and grab the team and guarantee yourself a spot, or if you'd like to take a $9 shot at getting the team, that's entirely up to you. Is it only downtown me and, and Carter in here, or is my uh, count off, which has been happening? Let me make sure I don't get lagged. All right, guys. So without further ado, I am going to razz off this number three. All right. So here's number three again. Chad, Chad, Weston, Gary, and Jay. Hey guys, I'll go to the dice first. We have two dice. We're going to roll them. Seven. Lucky number seven on the dice. Good luck. Here we go. Seven times. Make sure everything can see. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, final time. Seventh name gets a top spot, gets a spot in tonight's break. Good luck. Chad, Chad S., <clears throat> Chad Scala with the spot. Congrats, Chad. Chad, you're the winner of Raz number three. I'll write you down right here. Thank you for everybody that gave it a shot. Raz three was Chad. All right, Raz four coming up right now. Who else do you need? <clears throat> Hey, there you go, Chad. What's up, man? You just walked in and saw yourself win the spot in the, uh, in the Raz, okay? So you got a spot tonight, Chad. Entered you in, all right? Let's see if we can get another one because you're on Raz 4 as well. Raz 4 has Chris two times, Joe F1, Chad S with one, and Dylan with one. We'll go back to the dice and get a fresh roll. Good luck. Roll is a four. Roll is a four. So we're going to do four times. Chris L twice, Joe F once, Chad S once, Dylan once. Good luck. We are going four times. Good luck. One, two, three. Top name gets a spot. Fourth time. Good luck. Chris L. So Chris Loga. Chris L, you get Raz number four spot. <clears throat> Any more spots for the Raz? Yes, in Raz five, we have three spots open. They're $9 a spot. So you could have a $9 chance for to add another team if you have a team. This is going to be Raz five. So Chris Loga, you won Raz number four. And Chad, you won Raz number three. I'm going to plug you guys in. If you'd like a rest spot, you could just throw it up in chat. And then we're going to start getting going. 
Yeah, we got three left on that one. Um, I have to add their names. Here we go. That was Chad. Chad one. Chad S. And four was Chris L. <clears throat> copy this to my Excel sheet because the rest of the sheet is done. I don't like working off Google. I'll be right with you. If you're making a comment in the section, I'm not looking right now. I will be with you in two seconds. Just moving some things around on the screen. Get this prepped up. So right when this fifth RAS goes off, we're good to go. You'll take two, Salamo? No problem, Andrew. I'll put you in for two. You could just send those direct. They're nine each, so that'd be 18. You could send that direct, and he'll take the final. We'll take Chad. All right, let me get back to that screen. Oh, wait, let me do something here first. Let me save this. Okay, right. now I'm going to get it back on here. So we had Andrew S, Andrew S, and Chad wanted one more, one more shot at it. All right, here we go. So we loaded in our fifth rad spot. After this spot, guys, we will pick boxes and then get you guys teams and get you started. In our break, I'll show you what we're giving away tonight. A couple extra cards. Um, good luck, everybody. All right. So here is Raz number five. Raz number five. Good luck, guys. Thanks, Andrew. I, I, you're all good, guys. I know all of you guys in here. Chad, Andrew, Crikey. I know you're all good for it. You say you're going to do it. You do it. Never worry. Roll again. Here we go. Seven again. Seven is our lucky number on Raz 5. Thanks a lot, guys, for filling these out and filling up this break. It's going to be, hopefully, I can pull you some great cards out of here. They are fun. Let's see what we got. Five times. Seven times. I'm sorry. Let me go back and check that. Seven. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> sorry. That was one. Here's two. Three. Four, five, six, and the last spot goes to the seven time Crikey. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Thanks for trying, guys. Everybody, Crikey on the seventh time. So we'll go ahead and fill in, and I'll show you your teams. Crikey's going to take Raz 5. We put them right here in the middle. And I'll take you through our lineup tonight. Thanks, everybody, for jumping in. Welcome to All-Star Breaks. This is Dave. Happy to see you all back. See a lot of familiar names on here. Some new we'd like to welcome. Let's see what we got tonight in store for you. All right, guys, there are four combo teams tonight, so I'll highlight those first. First, you have the Houston Rocket-Utah Jazz combo. You have the Milwaukee Bucks-Orlando Magic combo. You have the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Toronto Raptor combo. And you have the Portland Trailblazer and the Sacramento King combo. So four spots. 
comboed 26 total spots in the break. Again, increasing your chances of getting a couple of those big teams, as well as decreasing the chances that you get skunked if you get some of the lower end teams. But for everybody, we will have some giveaways at the end of the night. I know I have a Jordan over here I could throw in. Um, I have a patch and I have an auto. So I'm going to add two extra hits, a little throwback Jordan keepsake, and we'll see how the break goes. If I got to juice it up more, I will juice it up more if I have to. So hopefully we get the fire in the boxes, baby. All right. Here's our lineup. Steve M. Welcome back, Steve. What is going on? Daryl on the West Coast. Adam A., the random king, is step stepping in number three. Louie M., what's going on, Lou? Welcome back. Crikey, congrats on the Raz number five win. Crikey's in his first spot there. Connor H., welcome, Connor. That may be a new name, I believe, but I do see a lot of names. But if you're new here, welcome, Connor. Good group of guys. You could uh, shoot the breeze in the chat. And they, they get to, you know, break my chops all you want. And you'll see a couple of them uh, doing it as well. All right. Sorry, you couldn't even see that on camera. So, Steve, Daryl, Adam, OMG Brian of OMGCardStore.com. Check him out. Um, awesome breaker. A lot of fun stuff on his site. Plays awesome games that I just have a tendency not to be able to beat. But I did conquer the last game with him, so I'm pumped for that. But check his site out. Again, www.OMGCardStore.com. Check him out. Good stuff. OMG Card Pulls on YouTube as well. He does a lot of box openings. He does a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of cool stuff, man. Good guy. Weston, my man Weston, man. Big Weston. Big night for Weston. Let's go, Weston. In the nine slot. Jason H. Welcome, Jason, in the 10. Andrew Salamo coming in in 11, 12, and 13. Thanks for jumping in, Andrew. Appreciate it. OMG Brian won our first Raz. Gary Brown won our second Raz. Chad won our third Raz. Chris L won our fourth Raz. And Crikey won our fifth Raz. Congratulations to you guys on jumping in, getting a little discounted team while taking a little risk of all or nothing. Appreciate it. Dylan, what is up, my man? Dylan on the West Coast with two spots. Nick C. Welcome back, Nick C in there and then steve m getting your second slot you're up top and here thanks for jumping in steve and lunchbox of lunchboxbreaks.com check him out he was breaking diamond kings all day i was in there with him <laughs> pulled some cool stuff today definitely got down got downtown gary brown the downtown hit but check out lunch breaks lunchboxbreaks.com awesome room good good group of guys that's where i find a lot of the guys that are in here uh one of our favorite breakers going. And then Todd V, welcome back, Todd. Close us out with two at the end. And we are ready to rock and roll, guys. I'm going to take your names. First, I'm going to go back to my randomizer and get my new lists up. All right, that was that. I don't need. I need a freshie. And I need a freshie here. All right, now I will check it. Good luck, everyone. Oh, yeah. Let's spin this up, man. New Orleans Pelicans. Did it say New Orleans Hornets on my list? Ha. <laughs> You know what? I, I copied the only list that I didn't fix it on. That's why, probably. And then I was adjusting the lists. It's weird that it came up like that. Good catch, though. I have done it. I, I did the whole random one time like that. With that exact list. All right, let me enter all the collectors. Steve M, all our Raz guys, and the Todd B. And then get our teams. 
Sorry, guys. I will pick it up in a second. Let me paste that in. All right, here we go. Our dice is at seven from our last raz, so we'll hit it again, see what happens. Good luck. Four times hard four on the lucky four. Two, two, double deuces. Deuces are wild. Good luck, everybody. We're going four times on the random four. Good luck. One, two, three, fourth and final time. Good luck. Four. We got Daryl all the way up top down to our Raz Chad on the bottom. Here's your lineup. <clears throat> so I got here one sec. Just sending Chris L a message. Chris is in here. Oh, he's in here. My bad, Chris. Sorry. Yeah, I got you. Here we go. Ready? Here's our spots. Daryl in the one spot. Andrew Salamo in the two spot. Dylan in the three. Four is Andrew Salamo. Five is Brian G. OMG, Brian. Six is Nick C. Seven, <clears throat> Jason H. Eight is Lunchbox. Nine is Dylan. Ten is Brian G. Eleven is Todd. Twelve is Steve M. 13 is Adam, 14, Connor, Crikey in 15, 16 is Chris L, 17 is Andrew, 18, Luis, 19, Crikey, 20, OMG, 21, Weston, 22, Steve M, 23, Gary Brown, 24, Lunchbox, 25, Todd V, and 26 is Chad on the bottom. Good luck. Let's get you some teams. To this madness. Let's get these a little over. Give myself a little of that. And here we go. Good luck, guys. We're going four times, four times on the teams. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. One, two, three. And lucky number four, good luck, everyone. Milwaukee Bucks up top. The Pelicans are in the seven slot. So if you had number seven, you have the, the Zion chase. And the Grizzlies are in the five slot. So seven and five. OMG's got the um, Grizz. And Jason H. Congrats. All right, guys. Here we go. From the top. Not bad combo, Daryl. Milwaukee Bucks and the Orlando Magic. Combo number one going to Daryl. Andrew Salama with the Spurs. Dylan with the Suns. Andrew Salama with the Rockets and the Jazz. OMG with the Memphis Grizzlies. Nick C with the Miami Heat. Jason H, congratulations with the New Orleans Pelicans. Very good. Or as I had them, the Hornets. Lunchbox with the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Toronto Raptor combo. Dylan with the Atlanta Hawks. Brian G with the LA Clippers. Todd V with the Sixers. Steve M with the Blazers Kings. Adam A. with the Boston Celtics. Connor H. with the Chicago Bulls. Crikey with the Detroit Pistons. Chris L. with the Washington Wizards. Andrew Salamo with the Lakers. Louie M. with the New York Knicks. Crikey is the Pacers. OMG with the Cavs. Weston with the Dallas Mavericks. Steve M. with the Charlotte Hornets. Gary with the Denver Nuggets. Lunchbox with the T-Wolves. 
Todd V with the Golden State Warriors, and Chad in our bonus spot won the Brooklyn Nets. I have seen a chock full of different people coming out in this, so good luck. Talk trades. I'll give you a couple minutes. I'm going to grab a water and drink. Friday night, everybody. OMG, man. The last time you had the Grizzlies with me, you did real well. Your wife didn't do well with them, but you did real well with them. I think you got like five in that one break, in that one mosaic. Good luck, guys. Talk it out. You could try and buy out Jason H. Jason H, that that newbie luck in all-star room is is real because I think you're a first timer here. The last guys that did a first timer with me, first time a guy ever broke. And he either pulled the Johnny Bench or the other or the Bryce Harper auto. Trey Young. Good luck, Jason. Good luck, man. Let's see, hopefully it's in there. Listen, man. That's the that's the tough part of breaking. Narrowing down what's in there. <clears throat> Right How we looking? Anything good? Mavs for Bulls. <clears throat> Connor. I don't know if I've seen Connor in here. Let's have no rookie cards. So gross. They got Durant. I've seen a lot of Kyrie. I don't know the checklist too well, honestly, Chad. I'm just catching up. Thanks for that. Thanks for joining us. The kid from Carolina. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm probably way back. Oh, that was Daryl that got that Harper. You're not going to watch? <clears throat> Come on, Gary. 
I know your trick. You do better when you don't watch. I know what you're up to. Crikey, you got the Pacers and Detroit. Thought I would have comboed them. I think they should be comboed instead of the Bucks. Bucks could do all right on their own Gianna stuff. All right. Enough, enough back and forth. Uh oh. Get that out. I'm dropping everything. All right. Let me get on here. That's perfect. I right, got top loaders ready. I think these are some thickies. Got my nice launch box stand. We can put some things up in the back. I got place to go ready to rock. Just need some cards. One thirties there. All right, guys, we got three boxes. Court Kings, we could pick them. I'll let you guys pick them. Unless you want me to. I have eight in stock. So I'll number them now for you so you can pick nice, easy numbers. One, two, three, four. Five, six, kind of, seven, eight. I think that says eight. Three, seven, six. There it is. Three, seven, six. Three, seven, six. Seven and six. Let me just make sure these other numbers are. Oh, yeah. You could read them. <clears throat> so there's nothing fishy I got to do on the cam. Good luck, everyone. We'll start with three and then we'll go to six and seven. Good luck and thanks for joining us at AllStarBreaks.com. Hopefully, we can bring you magic. Good luck. Thanks for spending your Friday night with us. Another uneventful week in sports. Hopefully things are starting to get back. We'll see what happens. This is one pack, 10 cards. There is the level three rookies are really solid as well. Two blanks I'm going to put in the back. Good luck, everyone. And the pack came right out, isn't that? Slider. These are nice boxes, man. Look at that. Cool. Thick box. So I guess they charge you so much. Is that it? I, I can imagine buying one box. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Pack one's out. I know the top two are base. <clears throat> And then we start getting into your rookies. So our first base card, Damian Lillard, going out to Portland. Let's leave everything up. It's only 30 cards. Our next one, nice for Boston. Base Tatum. Boston Celtics. Very nice. And for the Houston Rockets, the next base. Beard man. The beard for the Rockets. James Harden. And our first rookie going out to the Hornets. 
the Hornets are getting a Cody Martin. Cody Martin for the Hornets. Oh, we got one of these shoes. Cody Martin, rookie for the Hornets. Who's got the Hornets? That, I think, is level one, yeah. So up here you can see level one. And they're going to have different levels. Hornets is Steve M. Let's put that bad boy in a loader. Next card up is one of these sneaker cards. Rookie. These are cool. Going out to the Heat with the Tyler Harrow. Oh, is that nicked? It looks nicked, but it's the design. Oh, my God. I thought the corner was frayed. It looks like a nicked corner up here, but it's just a white line, like, right in the corner. I don't know why they would do that. It looked, scared me. Doesn't that look like the corner's nicked? It's not. It's sharp as could be. It's just there's a little white paint splatter that makes it look that way. That's red. I don't know if that means anything. Yeah, numbered to 149 for the heat. First steps. First steps. Tyler Harrell, Ruby parallel to 149. That's a nice one. Miami going out to Nick C. Wizards are good. Boga. <laughs> and our first auto going to who we got here. Going out to Todd with the Golden State Warriors, Eric Pascal. Oh, it's a relic. Fledgling, fledgling expressionist. I guess these cards are like very artsy, which is kind of like the theme in the card world right now. Very plain patch, and it is numbered to 179. Boom. Thick. Little circle. Little jersey patch. That's super thick. Probably 100 point. There you go. And we'll put the hits over here. All right, and now we have an auto, and it is also going to Golden State. It is Alan Smilagic. Never heard of this guy. For the Warriors. Numbered to 179. Alan. I think the Hero card is the hot card in here, unless we get a sick level three behind it. I might. I might. Why is everything so off? The break just started, and we just had. We're in the first box. I'm going nice and slow. There's not a lot of cards. So we just have two Warriors hits. Adam, you have you have the Boston Celtics. So you already got a Tatum base, which is nice. And our next insert, Maestro insert, going out to the T Wolves. Carl Anthony Towns, Maestro. That means the teacher in Spanish, in case uh, anyone's wondering. 
Oh my astro. We got a Towns insert. I'll plastic all up, all the inserts up. Oh, nice one coming here. I don't know what these are, but I know the player's good. Boom, LeBron James. Points in the paint. That is a sick card. We've got the Lakers tonight. Salamo. Here's LeBron coming and dunking on your screen right there, guys. That's a sick insert. Look at this guy looking at him like, damn, how am I supposed to stop that guy? <laughs> I wish it was a million dollars, but I, I don't know. I know his stuff usually is pretty good, and it's a insert in a expensive box. I'm not that great. I know the baseball market real well, but basketball market is just goes up and down so crazy. More up than anything, but and now I believe this is our level three. It's going out to the Celtics. There you go, Adam. What oh, is a level two? Let's see on top, Roman numeral two. Carson Edwards for the Celtics, the level two. Rookie insert. And I'll close out box one. Looks like Porzingis getting dunked on, was it? Yeah, that LeBron card is nice. It's got to carry some weight to it. Level two, Edwards. I see this guy's stuff a lot. <clears throat> He's like the Cedric Mullins of basketball. Rookie two. All right, here we go. Box six. I've picked on chat. Good luck. Now I know how they, they slide. Take them very gingerly out. I can't believe it. it's so crazy. One pack is all in the box has now. <laughs> Nowadays, I did a box with the kids. I bought a box of Diamond Kings. And my first pack I pulled in David Wright, my favorite player. luck guys box two here we go base for the raptors there you go lunch you got a pascal siakam this guy was playing real well when they shut it down pascal siakam possible future stud definitely future stud oh they're very Going out to the Heat. Our next base is the Heat. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. And behind Jimmy Butler, we have another LeBron. Lakers. Coming in hot. Go Salama. Yeah, these things are sweet. They are just sleeve up. Oh, we got a nice one coming next. These are those portrait ones. Here we go. Going out to Connor H with the Chicago Bulls. We got a Kobe White. This is level one portrait. That's sweet, though. Kobe White going out to Chicago. Let's see what this is all about. Let's 
the base LeBron in this is going for 50. Yeah, I bet. So this base is 50. So that point in the paint one has got to be pretty big. Salamo got the big LeBron last time, too. All right. Nice. Good. All right. Now, we already had this card going out to the Wolves, but this one's Ruby. So this one's going to be numbered for the Wolves. You got my Astro Ruby now with Towns. Who's collecting all the, uh, the T-Wolves tonight? There you go, Lunchbox. Got a Ruby insert. Bet you that goes for a decent... It's number 20. Twenty out of one forty-nine. Man, I man, love doing this to me. They love showing me that pelican sign, and then this guy, <laughs> Nikhil Alexander Walker for the Pelicans. So, not the pelican you wanted. Jason H. But a jersey card nonetheless. These are sweet too. And it looks like it's got a seam on it. It's a nice little patch. Maybe a piece of a number or something. Congratulations, Nikhil Alexander Walker going to the Pelican spot. I will see that Pelican sign and my pucker up. Wow. Nice auto coming. Congratulations. This is a new guy I love again. Connor H. This is to 149. On card. Air apparent. Kobe White. I did see a pelican, Crikey. You got good eyes. Kobe White Auto in the air. Signed. 124 of 129. Boom, boom, boom. A boom, 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 boom. Nice one. Spread the love. Who you got, Daryl? What are you looking for? Bucks. How about Houston Rockets with that same as that LeBron? This is the points in the paint. James Harden. Going out to that Houston. Points in the paint, Harden. It's a cool one, too, man. There you go. This guy Houston is Andrew Salamo. Might switch up the uh, combos next time around. See what comes out. <clears throat> I believe they went off what Mojo did. And for the Boston Celtics again, Boston Celtics with the apprentice artist, Carson Edwards. Boston, that's Adam. Not numbered. Nice insert. And this one's nice. Going out to, again, this is Minnesota. The T-Wolves, Jarrett Culver. That is a level two. Culver is a cool. I want to see the level three. has all the white. And looks like emojis. Look at how much art is going on there. Looks like a vein going through his head or something. So weird.
these are very artsy artsy cards man they are wild what's up sean what's going on man Jared Culver. Yeah, Kobe White Air Appearance, nice one. I like that Culver too. All right, guys, good luck. Hang out in the chat. Stay in the chat after. All right, I'm gonna give out some hitless cards. Got about four giveaways. Let's hit one of the big dogs here. Come on. Ja Zion. We hit our LeBrons. We'll move on from him. I'm going to put him on the left pallet this time. See if that switches any of our luck. Take the fourth time I had him. Base for the Pelicans, Jeru Holiday. Jaru. And for the Wizards, as a John Wall. Oh, give me more of the prize. <laughs> John Wall. <laughs> Andre Drummond for the Pistons, Mr. Drummond. And here's a nice rookie for you, Wizards. Who is saying they're the Wizards? Logan, all right? It's a nice Rui. Hachimura, level one. And for the Hawks, a Bruno Fernando. This is going to be numbered. This is the Artist Apprentice to the Hawks. This is going to be to 149, number 21 of 149. Not jersey number. Thought it was for a sec. Bruno Fernando for the Hawks. That's Dylan. And our next hit going to, we got him. Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, nope. Well, I'll show this one now. <laughs> Sorry. Spurs. Avery Johnson with a psalm. And you know the other one is a 76er. I won't tell you who. We'll do that one next. This one is to 149 for the Spurs. As Salamo. Andrew on fire. The hitman is in the building. Avery John Avery Johnson. Look at that high pitched voice. I like Avery though. That's a cool one. And now for the Sixers, we have the James Enos Auto Impressionist Inc. That's a level two to 179. Level two. I don't know if he forgot a lot of the letters or slacking in the auto department. It looks like a fish that just jumped like out of the water. <laughs> He's jumping from this side of the water. Pew! 
the little fish for the Sixers. It's Todd. I think Todd hit twice too. And the Warriors and Sixers, they both hit. Unreal. Unbelievable. I'm going to throw in some stuff for you guys either way. I know this is a not a lot of hit off in there, but did try and keep it down as much as we could. Going out to the Hawks again. Bruno. I've seen that a lot in this, too. It's the same box. We'll have two parallels of the same guy. And that ruby and that. I don't like that. But I'd like it if it was a, two Zions. But Ooh, this one's Orange Maestro. I don't know if this is a special color or something, but it's going out to the heat. It's Tyler Harrow. I'll see if this is numbered. It's orange. It's not numbered. Number three. I don't know if that's a third level insert. It's a cool card. Miami. Yo, Nick. Our last card is going to be, I don't know if we have this exact one yet. I had this player though already. Carson Edwards for the Celtics is level two. I think we had a run of Carson Edwards rainbow. For B-Town. Hold up, guys, because I'm going to add something to this giveaway. Do a quick recap. That's a level two. Strange, that's how they have it. You've seen a lot of that too, Dylan? You, I know you break a ton of basketball. I know you get into a lot of those basketball breaks. Have you seen it that way? or Because I have in a couple that I've watched. I don't watch. You probably watch more than I have. Uh, let me just situate these. That's a nice one. Yeah, it's the same. Look at that, man. Even for this case. Like, look, yeah, we got two of the same. Like, for what you would pay for a case, you shouldn't have the same two cards in that case. I don't know. I'll go over the inserts and then the hits, and then we'll do some randoms. Hang out. Here we go. James Harden pointing the paint going at the Houston. Got a nice Rui for the Wizards. Got a Culver level two. Carson Edwards two times on the level two. Got the, uh, the Maestro regular Harrow. You got the Bruno Fernando apprentice artist to 149 Ruby and... The Carl Anthony Towns Maestro Ruby to 149. You got a LeBron base. You got Kobe White portrait. You got the Cody Martin portrait for the Hornets. You got the nice shoe. First step, Tyler Harrow. That is Ruby to 149. Numbered first steps. So those are good. And then nice LeBron insert points in the paint. Insert. Sweet looking card right there. Lucky number 13. Now for the hits. All right. 
first we started off with the Eric Pascal fledgling expressionist. And then we have the Art Nuevo, Nikhil Alexander Walker. We got Alan Somalogic, James Ennis, impressionists. We had the Avery Johnson High Court signature. It's Psalm something. And then the nice heir apparent, Cody White, the Chicago Bulls, big head of the break. That and the LeBron. All right, guys, hang out. I'm going to grab into something for you guys. Did I, if I could find, again, I have a mess made. I'm going to add a couple. Yeah, I can add these. <laughs> if you give me a second, I'll find it. Be worth a second. Hold on. Okay. So I got four cards to give away. All right. Yeah, people have been saying that. I believe it. It's like six teams set. Yeah, they are, Chad. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I could raise it a couple bucks and break it up more, or I could, I could think of a way to do it different for the next upcoming. Either way, we have some Tier 1 up for Sunday. If you were interested in that Tier 1, that stuff was fun till last time. We'll throw in some nice cards in that. Again, if you don't get hits, we'll throw in some packs. We sent those out. Those should be on their way to you. All right, our giveaways tonight. I'm going to give away a Cracked Ice Pink Pascal Siakam out of Prism. A D'Angelo Russell out of Select Patch. All right, D. Russ. A Lionel Holland's Elusive Ink to 129. This is out of... Cornerstones. A little Vet Blazers action for you. A little Lionel Hollins. And the last card I'll add in because I didn't hit one in the break. I'm going to give in a John Morant Hoops rookie. Not a crazy expensive card, but definitely a rookie. So I'll throw a Jai in. This is going to go to the hit list. So if you did not receive a auto or a relic, you are up. If you did receive an auto or a relic and your team comes up in the number one spot, we'll just skip you to the next team to the first hit list team comes up. So the Bulls, the Spurs, the Sixers, the Warriors, and the Pelicans, right? Yes, and the Pelicans. Are out so only five teams out. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, Amen. You know, I, I want to pull hits for everybody, it drives me nuts when I don't. All right, guys, so this is the fourth time. This is how we ended our list. So we're going to go to the fifth time. Good luck. The fifth time is going to get first the pink cracked ice, Pascal Siakam. He's a guy I like. Should get some of his rookie stuff. All right, here we go. Fifth time gets the Siakam. Good luck. 
It's going to Nuggets, a balcony trophy. That's a Gary Brown. Gary's always good for a random a night. that one put that there next card up we'll do the d'angelo russell select patch d russ going to the sixth time good luck hitless detroit is that crikey crikey's the guy can't leave here without a hit detroit pistons getting a d'angelo russell Pistons and getting the Lionel Hollins elusive ink cornerstone auto. It's going to be number seven. Good luck, number seven. Chicago Bulls, they hit the Kobe White. So it's going to go to the Houston Rockets, Utah Jazz spot. Houston, Utah spot. You're going to get that. So I'll put Rockets on there. Lionel Hollins going out to the Rockets. What'd you get, Cranky? Oh, you got the D'Angelo Russell, right? Hey, he's an Ohio State guy. Isn't he? And eighth is going to get the jaw. All right, somebody will get a jaw rookie. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for playing, guys. Good luck. Eighth time gets the job. Good luck. Lakers, they hit. Did they hit? No, they didn't. They hit that big uh, parallel. Do we count that as a hit? <laughs> Probably hit the biggest card in a break. Oh, they weren't in one of my hitless teams. I got to honor what I said. We eliminated the Bulls, the Spurs, the Sixers, the Warriors, and the Pelicans, not the Lakers. Congrats to Salamo, the hitman. Gets the jaw. Ja, ja, ja. Fair is fair. All right. Thanks for breaking with us. It is Friday night. It is a weird product, you know, Chad. Uh, I, I really. It's it's very uh, artsy. Is like what how I would describe it. It's very like um, I don't know, Cosmo kind of cosmopolitan like. Soho Village feel, you know, like if, <laughs> from the New York, like uh, definitely a lot going on on it. All right, guys, I don't know who's up for hanging a little on a Friday. I mean, I got some stuff we could break. Baseball one up. We could do like a select box and a leaf flash box. I'll get a bunch of autos, a bunch of hits. That'd be a fun little, fun little shot. Put one of those. That has six autos of prospects. With a box of select. Oh, 
Oh, you want to do one of those? Let me think of a price point of that. Would be about. I'd be like, uh, let me do math quick. <laughs> Gary's making fun of me somewhere in the balcony. Don't, don't, I uh, don't hit this yet. Let's see if we could uh, get any momentum on it. I've been dying to get into those a little, actually, those leaf flash. We could do, uh, be like fourteen a team. Those two boxes. That's what that would about be, 14 bucks a, a team. This has six autos. This has two and two, so you get uh, 10 hits. Two autos, two mems. Be a fun little break. 14 would be a price on that, I think. And that would be with a free spot. That would be with uh, 20, I, I divided, I used 29. So somebody will get a free spot. We'll do a free spot random at 14. That could work. If you want to do a little select and leaf flash, you'd rather do the Bowman, it's going to be a little more. I could take this out and do really get you Jones and Crikey. Do something like this. And that wouldn't be much more, but that's a lot less cards. Nicer cards. You have not a lot of cards in this break. Or if you wanted to take this out. Do this. I could price that out. Hold on, let me see. Do that for like 17 with a free spot. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. G. Catching up on all this Twitter. I mean, I'm Jones in baseball, so you know I'm game. Just need to make sure we, we get enough. There's only seven in the room, so it wouldn't be too huge. Uh. 
I wish there was more cards in here to just do one box by itself, but that's a total crapshoot. This one will give you some bulk. This one would be nothing but hits. Hit, 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 hit. A little cheaper. This one would be like 15 ish. This one would be 15 for this, It'd be 10 hits. Nine or 10 hits. Depends if this has three or four in it. All right, there, I'll start a list. Don't pay yet though, don't pay yet. This will be a chat fill Friday night exclusive. Let me save up the other list. And I'll start a new one. That would be 15. All right. Don't pay it. I, I, not optimistic. Would you rather do that or that? We flash or to select? If you wanted to just do this box, it would be like. I do it for like six bucks a team. One box of this would be six. I don't know how much momentum we're getting. Not much. I should put up something to signify what we would do here. I said 15 on this. One free team. That would be. Be a 15 or spot. I'd like to see Flash too. Could do divisions for Flash. All right, let me let me. Uh, if we did divisions, we would not only um, Yeah, we did 25 a division. 25 will get you a whole division of just this box. Six divisions, right? Six divisions. Yeah. All 
And there's six cards in here. Six cards, six autos. If you went hit list in a, in a division break, I'll, I would you would get a you'll get a hit. I'll send you an auto. I'll fill in a prospect auto for a hit list. If there's only six of us. You'd take one of those if we did 25 a division. up to you if you like i'll put it up I'll give it a little time to to stew over See if anyone wants to do a division. We got four or five teams. Depending on your division, I'll try and get this going. So I'll put Daryl in for one, Crikey in for one. I go like this weekend night. Oh my god. God, yeah, Friday night prices are bananas. Forget tier one tonight, yeah. Now you'd have to wait until like two in the morning, but then at that point, the West Coast is nice and stewed up, and they're, they're jacking up the prices. So Friday night, people get that, that paycheck and a little booze in them. Start that gambling fix because there's nothing to gamble on cards right now. Oof. Man. Thinking about doing a couple on eBay. Friday night breaks. It just makes too much sense not to almost. Not ex not not a lot, but maybe on a couple Friday nights I'm gonna put up some there. Try and expand a little more. So if anyone wants one, just post up in chat. I'll put that there. I'll be back in two minutes. I could did hear my wife come in. I'm gonna go say hi. I want it, but I have to. If you could read that, it says be back in two minutes. Claim spots in chat. If anyone wants in on a baseball division, 25, six autos. You got Lux, you got Wanda Franco in here. All types of refractors. Let me know. Anybody watching? Or if not, if you're just here to hang, that's cool. Back in two minutes, guys.
put it on the flat. Any action up in there? Oh boy. All right. Got a lot of mix of stuff. I'm dying to crack another tier one box too. Could do pulls. Could do box pulls. I don't have a good box prep though. Could auction off cards. And do an auction. Add to your stacks. I don't know if this is going to fill. Chat exclusive auctions for singles. I'll start at like low prices. Can add some cards. You could tally up at the end if you don't see anything you like. You could just say pass. Otherwise, you could bid right in the chat. Name some players you want to see. You think that Harper Auto, the 10? Um, I don't know. Let's look it up. Let's look it up before you dial. It was 2020 tier one. Harper. Ten. Oof. Oh, his bat knob's already out. Look what that's going for. <laughs> we didn't get that one. Um. My first guesstimate is, oh, yeah, there you go. That's the one you got, right? Sold for 200. I was going to say like 150. Well, best offer at two. So I would say probably in that 175 range. Is that the one you got, right? Uh, it's sold for about two. Harper's stuff is pretty hot, man. Look at that. Just his button relic sold for 150. No auto. That's to five. But that's no auto. That's a relic. That's pretty good. Yeah, just his relic to 395. The tier one relics are climbing a little. Oh, I wish I saw that. A red bone in the five. Damn, I would have scooped that for 30 bucks probably. I love Bowman. Yeah, I'd say your, um, your, uh, I'd say 175 to 200 on that. Comfortably. I think I I mean it could be more. I mean this guy there's only one on there that took a best offer at one ninety nine. He might have just jumped on the first offer he saw. I like Harper's stuff to go up though again. Cause it's a little down, even though he had a pretty good year, better than most think. It just wasn't that big year after that three hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's always worth. It could be worth more to a Bryce fan, that's for sure. It's a freaking beautiful card, and your signature is super clean. You'll see when you get it. That signature is sharp. They signed in like super fine point um, marker on those tier ones. They're very sharp uh, autos. All of them that I've seen. 
That might be a gradable card. We'll pull a 10 on it now. If it's a 10 auto to add a 10, you're probably in the you probably triple its value. A nine probably doubles its value. So that's another way to look at it if you're not in a rush to flip it. It's definitely a good card to grade, I would say. It's super sharp when you get it. You'll see. Yeah, great. And if you get a 10, you, you could easily be, uh, say, closer to the, in the 400 range, in that 4 to 5 range with a 10, a mint 10. A 9, you'd probably get you yeah, to the... Uh, Probably in the 300 range, the low three. Again, that's speculative based on none of them being sold, but just on on the value. You, you know, a 10 carries a good value to a card. If you add a 10 to it, that's uh, that's pretty nice. Certainly won't hold it. It won't hurt it, rather. You get a pristine. I don't know about... I don't know. But they don't give those out. Because I feel like they only give it out to cards that they're selling or something. I don't know. Those Beck, The Beckett Black labels are... They're very hard to get. Perfect tan, 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 tan. I'll hang for a little. Put up some cards. You guys don't want to bid on some cards? Who you like, Daryl? Go eBay All Star style. Let's throw up some cards. I got this one today. I got these two today. I don't know why I grabbed this, but it was really cheap. And it's just a Jordan, but it's only a seven. <laughs> but I got it real cheap. Just to have a Jordan and a PSA. And I got an eight and a half Mike Schmidt. I got a couple, a couple Mike Schmidt fans in our group, so eventually that will enter a random, possibly. I've been trying to get a lot of these 80s, 80s and earlier cards, 8 or above. 90s, I'm trying to get 9 cards, like 9s or above, but in the 80s, if we could find an 8, a good 8-5. Like this. It's weird, right? PSA with an 8.5. This is so old. Look at that. Oh, no, it can't be. I was going to say it's the 270th card in this cycle. No. Schmitty. Vladdy Jr. Oh, I think I gave away a couple good Vlads. I don't have any crazy Vlad. I have a lot of his base stuff. I wouldn't sell that to you. I'd probably just throw that stuff in. Oh, you know what? I do. As I say that, I just got a Vlad graded card, didn't I? I did.
I know I did. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Out of 19 chrome. Got a 9 Vlad. Oh, Gary, what's up, dude? You were lurking? Very interest in that. Big Hurt. I got some cool Big Hurt old stuff. I know I got Big Hurt rookies somewhere, but... That's probably not accessible. I'll show you something. I found a cool box, man. I'll show you how cool. I'll show you how old. Well, first of all, the box it's in itself. If this box is in condition, this is a. This is probably a three hundred dollar shoe box that's how old this is i'm going to show you how sick this is right look it's the original air jordan gs is we got out of size four youth i had them when i was a, a size four kids dude the original michael jordan shoe box if this box was mint i'm telling you this box alone goes for like 300 bucks just for the box. No sneakers in it. I was drawing on it as a kid. Never think it. It's got that old black and speckled. Dude. Sick. So inside it. <laughs> look at these. They're so funny. Look at the colors the plastics turn. They're like yellow. Looks mint. <laughs> it is mint. It held together. This is uh, this is probably a thirty-year-old box. These probably came out in early nineties. What's how old was I when I was wearing a four youth? I had to been like ten, maybe ninety-three. And the cards in it are hilarious. Too. Some old Chris Webber's 94-95 cards in it. So it's a Dikembe rookie. These are the next things coming, I feel like. The 90s cards. Juan Howard. Latrell rookie. Latrell Sprewell. There's my boy, Lafonso Ellis. Remember him? Loved him. I had a lot of Weber stuff. I loved Chris Weber, too. Right, let's see. I'm looking for uh, Frank Thomas. This guy, quarterback for Florida State. He won a Heisman. I think he won a Heisman. Charlie Ward. Uh, junk. No, it was in here, though. I'll show you the cool stuff that was in here. <laughs> Pretty sure these are all Michael Jordans, this whole row. Those are all Jordans from when I was a kid. Look at these crusty designs. Nothing great, but they were all plastic right away. Look at that Dream Team card. Upper deck, that's probably decent. An 89 Fleer sticker. Upper deck. This is old Jordan. Remember this card? 
This was a hot card in this set. This was like the hottest card in this set. It was like some fake made up guy, supposedly Jordan. Johnny Kilroy. Fat five, there you go, Gary. Look at this thing. This thing is so yellow. <laughs> these plastics. What the hell they used to put in them? All these USA cards. So it had to be like 92. This box it makes about sense. Hoops. All the, this is all the stuff we had. Hoops. It's 94. It's 91. Too. Look at this. Remember these stupid promo cards you used to get? Four in one. It's kind of a cool card, though. But they got the cheesy backs on them. It's cool because it has all of his all-star stuff. All of his like stats from college. His early years with the Bulls and his All Star games. He had 40 points in the 1988 All Star game. That's got to be a record. It's pretty sick. Vintage Skybox, Oldie. That one's pretty good, I think. Partying. A 50 point club behind that and tops and tops made basketball frequent flyer stadium pump. It's all Jordans, but there's nothing too crazy in here. I don't think I should have sold them all as a lot. This one's decent, I believe. Fleer Flare. That was an insert. That was a short print insert. Look at these old snap together plastics. Oh, these are so terrible. I should get this card out of there. I'm afraid to open it. <laughs> this one is cool too because, believe it or not, it's the McDonald's. See the arches in the upper deck? It's a McDonald's one. Oh, when Jordan played baseball, it got dirty, that thing, as you could barely see the card. Another promo. Some junk. Another stadium club. Another hoop. This one's actually decent, too. Member's Choice stuff is coming back. Anything Jordan. And this one, a little short insert, big shots insert. I found a bunch of Jordan. I know there's Frank Thomas in here. That's what I was originally looking for. There's another Jordan. It's the hollow Jordans. Hollow, hollow. Total D Jordan. Peyton Emmett. We get that one, Dustin. Are you here, Dustin? Oh, this is a TD rookie. It is. Wow. It might be a decent pick. It might be a decent card. Still got that protective covering on it. Oh, you came to see a Zion? So, yeah, we're just kind of looking through stuff. I was trying to fill, uh, because we, we were trying to see it. I'm sorry. You got caught up. I was actually saying lunch. If this box here, if this box was mint, this is like a $300 box. This is an original Jordan's. In a Jordan box, flight box, it's my old, my old card shoe box, size four youth, baby. What they say about them 
guys with size four four youth shoes. Yeah, we broke. You want to recap? I'm just trying to fill something out. Our big hit was a Cody. Kobe White. Air Parent. We had an Avery Johnson. I know you hit you had the T Wolves. So you got some rubies. Ennis, Smalagic, not Zion, Pelican, Alexander Walker. And then I gave away a Morant to the Lakers. There were some other big ones. This card's big, actually. I looked it up. I'm actually looked it up, and freaking one just sold yesterday. I had no idea about it. One sold for 10 bucks yesterday. <laughs> They've been selling for 100 and 120. For this card, this is over 100. LeBron parallel. And somebody freaking bought one for 10 bucks yesterday. No Zions. This one's nice too. This first step, Tyler Harrow. This is the Ruby. So that's numbered. Yeah, this LeBron is a really cool looking card, man. It looks like he's coming right at you. He's going to dunk on you. It's a cool card. Um, another Kobe. And LeBron base, they're saying, is even like 50 plus. There you go. You had the Wolves. So you hit this card in Ruby and the regular insert, Carl Anthony Towns. And you hit a Jarek Culver somewhere. Yeah, right there. Nice. This is the level two. It's actually a good rookie. It's probably like the fifth, fifth or sixth best rookie, right? And like R.J. Barrett, Harrow, Kobe White, Morant. He's probably sixth. Him and uh, DeAndre Hunter, Rui. Yeah, you had the Timberwolves, so you hit this one. This is a level two. So it's better than the level one rookies. That's a really. Yeah, those were your three cards. I'm not sure if you got any base out of it. Oh, you definitely got this insert base as well. Maestro Anthony Town. So for a for a 30 card break, you actually did pretty quantity wise, you did well. Quality wise, you did all right. Say the Bulls and the uh, Lakers were the big winners tonight. This is what we're put together now. Nobody will go hitless in this. This is a $25 division break. So there's six autos in there. If you do not get an auto from the box, you'll get an auto from my personal collection. That has Gavin Lux, Wanda Franco, uh, Jordan Alvarez, That's filling now. That's 25 for a whole division, one box. That's 2019 Leaf Flash. Yep. That's Wander and Gavin on the cover. Check out the checklist of it. It's not bad at all, actually. It's got all the big names, prospects in it. Um, it's got Julio Rodriguez.
could get into case breaks of it at a decent price. Usually player breaks. Usually you get like a player. A good player f for a full case is going to cost you a little bit, but I collect like the. If I could get a player for in that 10 to 15 range on a, on a case, like a mid range player, I'll do it. So 25 divisions, not, not crazy. That's pretty good. That's a relief. Some people aren't big on the leaf, but I actually like their stuff. Yeah, we got Daryl and Crikey hanging out a little bit. They said they'd take one, so we're with you. We're halfway. Get three more spots. Put out a tweet if anyone wants in. I don't know how many people are really up for it. We'll see. Plus two hundred. Gary, you want in too? <laughs> Mr. Vin, hold up, guys. Don't send yet. Don't send anything yet. I'm back, so I could take this one down. I'll be back in two minutes. This one's going to be 25 for a full division. Six hits in the box. I pull any nuggets? No, but you hit a... You hit a random. You hit a giveaway at the end. Hit a Siakam Prism Cracked Ice. You hit that, Gary. Pink Crack Ice. Well, Pink Crack. I don't know if there was any nuggets in the break itself. Base-wise, possibly. I didn't go through all the base yet. Let's see. Should take me a while. No nugget. Just a hitless. I'll be beefing up something in these packs, too, because I don't like sending nothing. So everyone's going to get something. I'll figure out what. Let's 
Anyone wants in? We got two left. Don't want to, but I will if I have to. Let me see what this is going at right now. See if I'll do better. I don't think so, though. Let's see. Ugh. That's football. There's a 110 a box. I'm at 150 to ship to this five people, six people. There's another 20. Yeah. I'm making 10 bucks. I don't know, man. Yeah, Gary, I saw that, Gary. You know what? Actually, too. I just gave away a nice Keone Cavaco, too, man. When you told me that, I wanted to pull it out and just give it to you. <laughs> I should have. But I brain farted. I do remember you telling me that. Oh, you want to see what I got today? I stole these cards. Not stole, but I think I got a good deal on it. Bowman's best, Bryson Stott. I bought two of them. Two Stotts. This one's to 50. That one's just the best. I got a good deal on both. I have a bunch of those somewhere. Franchise favorites. Those are some very sexy guards. Been sniping them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lunch, I don't get that either. Like, uh, that's what makes me a little berserk about Diamond Icons. I actually got, last year when Diamond Icons came in, I was so excited because I was like, not new, but I would just, I started selling a lot of cards so I had a little bit of money to play with I bought a bunch of breaks and I got like a bunch of hits I even got a uh, one of one cut and it was like a hundred bucks not even like a one of one cut from uh man I can't even think of the name Negro League guy batting in front of jobs Josh Gibson Yes, Gary. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's what I gave away a Kavako of, and I was mad. Not mad, but 
I realized after I should have given it to you. I know you guys aren't, but. I don't know why I bought so many of them. But I did. Went on like a Michael Chavez kick one week. Where I bought three Inception autos of Chavez. And I, I, I didn't get a, like a killer on two of them I did. Not this one because of the nice patch, but. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Anyone want a Shabbos auto? I'm doing pretty, like, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. That would, have, I think I paid, like, 18 or 20 a piece for him. Which is a phenomenal deal, if you ask me, if he turns out good. Oh, yeah? Maybe I'll have to trade him one for a freaking Herstad. Kerstad freaking guy. It's too late now. I know, Lunch, you said you were getting into Prism next year. Here's the last year's Prism I just came across just because they were here. I probably broke these with you, Lunch. Was I breaking with you by this point or no? That's a bunch of last year's prisms. I actually love them. I pulled like... No Pete's. No Pete Alonzo, but I pulled a bunch of... Jeff McNeil autos. I have like a zebra one. I have I have like three. All three are pretty short print too. I'm still looking for that. Yeah, lunch. I feel like I feel like you've been breaking longer than maybe you have. I've been home for so long, so that's why I lose track of years. <laughs> it's the third year I've been out of work since I got hurt on at work. And that's when about I got into this. So, when did you start breaking lunch? Has it been over a year at least? It's got to be about a year. Oh, wow. It felt like longer. <laughs> I've definitely been breaking with you probably since the first one. I used to, uh, I'll be, best part about your break was they used to be super early. I remember getting the kids ready for school, you know, making breakfast and like closing out eBay bids. And then the kids would go to school and I'd watch the breaks and do all the, and then I was painting that one time and you guys were giving away. I know the exact card you, were, you gave me away at that it was a Corbin Burns Chronicles auto. Yeah, I think I, I remember. Yeah. 
Optic. Yeah, man. I did go banana. I'll show you my optic box. I have a lot of optic. That's all from you. There you go. That explains it. Optic, and then I got it heavy onto something else with you, too. Oh, pretty much I haven't missed many. <laughs> Definitely haven't gone like a week without a break with you. Maybe even like a few days, but we're still filling this, Gary. We got two spots left. Yeah, man. Reflector. Only broke once with you. <laughs> How could you not come back after that? Oh, <sighs> <sighs> well, Gary's back to work, so he's got sleep. He's got sleep to get in. I get it. Yeah, 25 in division. We'll try and blast this off. Six autos. Like I said, if you don't get an auto, you will get an auto. If you don't get one in the box, I'll send you an auto. Oh, you're an overnighter. Nice. So you're at work. You're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you don't come back after pulling a super fractor. What kind of ways it works the overnight? Get out of all the overnight shifts. Dancing for dollars somewhere. Hey. Somebody's daughter on that stage. God bless him. Trust me, man. I know I know what strippers make in big cities. Do not feel bad for them. It's a tough way to get it, but they get a lot of money. <laughs> the plumbing's tough, man. That's why when I said like this morning, I I don't know. I'm not the best at, at trying handy things, only because I, I know I'm going to spend all the money on the parts, and I'll probably it will take me ten times the amount of time, and I'll probably screw it up. And then I'm going to have to call somebody in to fix what I'm going to screw up. So. I'd rather just call someone in the first time that knows what the hell they're doing. If it's simple, I could do it, but plumbing, no way. Electrical, no way. Anything that could ruin my house, I don't do. But paint, like cosmetic stuff, yeah, I'm good. I could do that, but I'm great at demo. I swing a hell of a sledgehammer. I just took the most rewarding shower of my life.
<laughs> Simple headache, yeah. Plumbing, I see. And mine's all, my house got all gutted and re uh, plumb everything, all new everything. So I have a very easy system to track, but forget about it. I've touched a hot water hot pipe before and learned the hard way, like a moron. Scolded my hand good. Rip, rip, rip. Hockey, hockey, hockey. I think Miss Lunch said she's going to do some hockey, right? I'm, I'll probably go grab some more hockey, but I'll see what Miss Lunch puts together. I'm definitely going to jump in on it. I don't have any hockey in store right now. I posted a couple hockey cards. So hopefully this goes, uh, anybody want a spot? Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I heard you were saying that. She grabbed two boxes off Panini. First off the line. She made me pay her. <laughs> That's right. That's awesome. First off the line stuff is just so cool. I think everything's numbered to uh, 99 or less. Did I do first off the line with you too? Uh, lunch, try and get some of that optic. It's sick. Everything's 99 or less. Wow. Hey, been there before. First off the line optic. It doesn't have, does it have autos? I don't know if it has autos. Well, listen, I'm in Miss Lunch's hockey break. I'll get in it, whatever it is. Try and get me my Islanders. I collect anything Islander. Which Gary makes me think, too. I got beat out again, man. Not paying attention, Gary, on, a, on another uh, Fedorov rookie, man. PSA graded Sergey Fedorov rookie. I lost it by 50 cents because I wasn't paying any attention on a steal, too. It was less than $15. I was like, oh, God, I would have bought that in a second. It's a PSA 9. I'll show you it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you guys want to see something funny? Look at all the losers I have. My bids are stupid. I lost this one because I was breaking. I wanted it. I was going to straight up buy a Jordan out of select. I think I was up to 25. I guess somebody got me at the end. Whole lunches. Look at all the losing bids. <laughs> I just think I threw a bid on every everything on there. Man, 
How long ago did I lose it? This is only yesterday, and I'm, I've been scrolling for a while. i got to stop. <laughs> Tier 1s. <laughs> got to stop. It's got to be around here. Oh. Well, it was only three days ago, and it won't let me find it. It's not going back that far. I did a lot of bidding these last couple of days, man. No horse can't kill me. It's so weird. Like it just goes from June 11th. That was yesterday. To June 10th. To May 18th. So anything before June 10th. Try getting a great design on, but I lost. See all the wins. <laughs> this side ain't much better. Well, that's active. Oh, that's why. No. Look at that. Ron Gidry coming in. A seven. Louisiana Lightning. Oh, God. What a bunch from that guy. Dustin. Peep this. This is on its way to me. Figured somebody might like that. Rookie nine. Come football season. I'll find that in your little package. Page 325 for it, bro. Well, it's a great buy. It's $7 total. Daryl, thanks for hanging with us, man. Try getting it off. If we get it off, do you want me to still keep your spot in here, Daryl? And uh, you could watch it tomorrow. You could pay tomorrow. I know you're good for it. Um, it's up to you. Otherwise, I'm probably going to get off, too. I don't think we're going to get this off. I'm the worst. I'm... I do all my selling throughout the day. By the time I get to the breaking point, I don't want to keep hounding people. It's going to be much uh, better. I'm going to do, hopefully we're in the office soon, within a month. And then I'll be doing like a lot of, during the day, I'll be razzing off a lot of spots with some other stuff with the razzes, so you won't walk away always without a razz. Um, I think you'll get razz credits if you don't hit, and those credits you could turn into other razz spots. So I'm thinking like every, you know, this could, I got to figure out how to do it, but. It's going to be better. Once there's more people involved in the business as well, it's going to go much smoother. It's going to ramp up a little of our volume that we could produce. and Hopefully do a little distributing. We'll see. Yeah. 
you don't hound anyone. I know, Gary. I'm, I don't. I'm. I'm. That's just my personality. I don't like. Uh, I never like asking. I'm not asking for money, you know. But I, you know, in my own sick, twisted mind, it's like I am. I'm trying to break it at as close to cost as we can right now. The shipping. Um. It's not that. It's I get frustrated because the prices that are cards are going it's just so up. But then, I mean, it's cyclical, so the hits are, should be that high. But when they're not, I, you know, I get frustrated, like Lunch was saying before. The box price keeps going up, but the, the singles haven't gone up. Bradley Chubb, Mint 9. I just showed it. You were You just got back? Should be getting that any day now. Let me hold on to it for a little while and then you'll end up with it eventually. There's your chub. Let's see what the back looks like. Clean. I've been on a graded card kick, man. I got that Schmidt. I got a Jordan. I love this one, man. I freaking got this good, man. Tim Raines rookie. Love that card. I don't know why. Bags rookie. And a Zoe rookie. I love the Lonzo Morning. I love that. I just love that. Growing up, Georgetown was just such an awesome team to watch. I loved watching uh, John Thompson's teams. Grinders. They had some run of centers, man. What else did they have besides Zoe and Patrick? They had... Uh, I mean, even after him, he wasn't great, but like Roy Hibbert was very good in college. Kind of not when I was too young, but I remember Hibbert playing. <laughs> I just always watched Georgetown. Big East teams. I like, I root for the Big East. I'm a St. John's. St. John's Notre Dame fan. St. John's Red Storm. They were the Redmen when I was growing up, but that went away. Politically incorrect. So was Hofstra. Hofstra was the Flying Dutchman. Then they turned into the Pride, like a Pride of Lions. And then they cut football at Hofstra, and it's been tough for them since. Actually, I actually have a top 10 wrestling program in the country now, or top 20. Lacrosse is real good. Baseball's good. Softball's real good. I guess they have good sports. I don't know why they, they did away with football way too soon. Last Hofstra guy in the NFL, I believe he's still in the NFL, is Marquise, Marquise Colston. Colston played there. He played with my... Uh, he was a tackle in high school, but a center there. State wrestling champ. I did fucking cut it. Fuck. 
All right, guys. I didn't want to take this down. Rip, rip, rip. Every time I got, I go, I go to, to get away, Gary rips me back in. I want to rip it. Daryl left. And he had one of the spots. So I don't know if I would keep him in. This is really only three spots good. Aaron Shunk autos. I don't think I have his auto. His auto is this. I know I see his name on here when I bid on sometimes. Do I have Aaron Shunk auto? I'm going to say no. But there's possible possibility. I. I know I have Rockies, but I don't think it's him. I have a couple Rocky Bowmans. I think I have a Toglia, Michael Toglia auto, and a pitcher. I, I just escaped my, I don't know. I think I had two Bowman Rockies autos. I know I have Aaron Shunk cards. I have a, definitely have a. At least his base chrome and his uh, probably a refractor of some sort. You can say that with almost any 2019 Bowman card. I'll tell you what I what I how I built up my Bowman collection so great, and it's still not the best way, but it's an economical way. <laughs> I got a couple guys that, that or one guy that I buy a bunch of mega box breaks from. And that's how I started collecting all those megas. I was getting really good deals on Bowman mega breaks like a couple months after they came out. So when nobody else was, when everybody else was done breaking it or the next Bowman line came out, I think it was like draft came out or something like that. I jumped in all those mega breaks and I freaking killed it. Put like 10 teams in each break. Get each team a couple times. Bada bing, bada boom. I probably could have just bought the set <laughs> for half of the price, but <laughs> along the way, I hit an auto or two. And, uh, it's all good. I really want to open more Court Kings, honestly. So three boxes yielded no Zions, no Jaws. I got five still here. I have another case on the way. So a case is 16, 12 boxes, I believe. No? I believe it's 16, actually. Yeah, 16 box case. I got another 16 box case coming. I'm in here and chunk. No, the only. I could pick up this cool card too, even though I hate this guy. But again, I, know my, I, I scored on a lot with the darn old uh, rookie patch. I really like this one too, an immaculate to 10. It's that gold. More oh, Jordans, that's a good Jordan. That's a good insert. This one is the craziest. These metallics are nuts. And take a take a tour and look at all these boxes.
What's in here? Opening day pack. Opening pack, opening day. Kino and a Conforto. Take another Aristides. Someone's pack. DJ? Once your kid collects Yankees, yeah. I gotta set up Junior with another nice nice haul. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna sign off. I tried. Maybe during the day I'll try and get something going, Gary. I could get something uh I know Sunday we're on for Tier 1. Four boxes of Tier 1 again, so check that out. Watch what those go for tonight. Be careful on those if you're bidding. They're going to go super high. Doubt you'll be able to get a team cheaper than 60 bucks on a half case, 50 bucks. So we're doing four boxes of... Uh, Third of a case. And it's 33 again for combos. So you'll get a good price on it. We had some monsters last time. I think there's going to be some more in there. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. If anybody's jumping on and breaking lunch, you breaking when you get home tonight? Or, or you are home, aren't you? If you are home, you jump on, let me know. I'll be there. Everyone else, thanks for hanging. I'm out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Downtown. Didn't go through. If anybody sent payments, I'll check when I get off and I'll send it back for the leaf. Everyone else that jumped in on basketball, thanks a lot. Stay safe. Stay well. I'll talk to you guys probably momentarily in Twitter. Or if you jump on someone breaking, I'm in. So, all right, fellas. See you later. Peace.